In this video, you'll learn how to use the temperature guide to determine an efficient drying temperature for your sample. Defining a proper method to accurately and reliably test a sample could be one of the biggest challenges of using a moisture analyzer. To access the temperature guide, press the help button in the upper right hand corner of the home screen and select temperature guide. Follow instructions on the screen. First, the analysis temperature must be set. The test temperature should be higher than a reasonable drying temperature for your sample. In many cases, this can be the maximum device temperature of 230 degrees Celsius. However, if there is a risk of flammability, smoking, or damage to the device, select a lower temperature. Place an empty sample pan on the device and close the lid to tear. Once tearing is complete, add the sample to the pan, distribute it evenly, and close the lid. A 30 minute measurement will now start, slowly increasing the temperature to the maximum analysis temperature while showing the dry content of the sample. Once measurement is complete, a graph showing the dry content change over time and temperature is displayed. In most cases, the graph will appear in one of two ways. In one case, the sample will reach the maximum temperature without burning or decomposing. In this instance, the maximum analysis temperature can be safely used to quickly dry the sample. In the second instance, the sample will dry at a certain temperature. Then at some point, the sample will burn or decompose, indicating a secondary weight loss phase. The optimum drying temperature for the sample will be where the weight loss plateaus after the initial drying phase. In this example, the sample under test reaches the end of the drying phase at around 150 degrees Celsius before it begins to burn. This is the appropriate drying temperature that should be used in a method for this particular drying sample. 